Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to take a real quick trip on the Swally Railway and show you around and tell you all you need to know, so stay tuned. The 25 minute route runs from Norden Station near Corf Castle and it passes through Corf, it passes through Harmons Cross and finally reaches Swanage. These are all stops you can get off at to look around and the ticket purchased allows you to get back on on a later train so it's great for sightseeing as well. Here we are at Norden Station, it has a huge car park for over 300 cars and it's only £3.50 for the day. While you're waiting there's a play park for the kids to entertain themselves and there's also a cycle hire shop if you want to explore the area on two wheels as well. And the train runs roughly every 45 minutes and there are two in operation usually, Norden to Swanage and another running the other way. In August when we took the trip, the first train left at 10.30 and the tra last train left at 5pm, so plenty of time to explore your destinations. So the train leaves in about 5 minutes and we are just going to try and find a, what are they called? Carriage. Carriage. What about in here? Yeah, let's go that let's one. Let's go in this one. This will do, there's seats in the table. Go for it Max, you guys go first. Then you get a good view of the castle. If you want great views of the Corf Castle and if you're travelling from Norden to Swanage you want to sit on the right hand side of the carriage as the train leaves because you get great views of this and the village as well. And the stations are a throwback in time so even if you don't get off make sure you have a good look through the windows. Let's get off the train and have a look at the station. Pretty cool old train, I must admit. We spent a couple of hours in Swanage and you can see all about this beautiful seaside town in another video I've done, but now it is time to head back, but this time we are going to get off at the Corf Castle station. Plenty of campsites along the route as well as you can see. This is where our journey ends. I hope that gave you an insight into what the Swanage Steam Railway was like. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because there's a lot coming up such as a trip to Longleat and an extended version of this trip where we also visit Corf Castle. 
So for now, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.